Hello, welcome everybody. It's lovely to know you're watching this video. I am Jackie Hyde, I'm the Vicar of St John's Church down in Innsworth and I'm delighted that all the local churches have worked together to make it possible for us to have a holiday club for all the children of this area. Welcome all of you, well done for finding your way here. It's lovely to have you on board for the adventure. Today we're being led by Lane Lewis from St Andrews and I'm going to hand over to her and let's all have some fun. It's Captain Laney Watt the Plank here with you today. Welcome to the Adventure Holiday Club. It's Pirate Adventure Day today. You land lovers, you need to come with me and have some adventures on the seven seas. You've got to be looking for bad weather. You've got to be looking for pirates like me. And you've got to be looking out for a sea monster. Oh, you think I'm laughing? Do you think it's funny? Or you think there's no such thing as sea monsters? Well, I'll tell you a tale of Jonah and the whale. Jonah was a landlubber like you. One day, God talked to Jonah and told him to go and tell the people in Nineveh about God. But Jonah did not like the people of Nineveh because they were nasty scurvy. They were unkind to people. Jonah didn't like them one bit, so he had a cunning plan to run away to sea. He went to the port, he looked for a fine vessel, and he paid his silver and walked up the gangplank. When he got on the gangplank, onto the ship, he was tired, and so he went to sleep with the cargo down below. He was trying to get away from God and away from Nineveh, the opposite direction. The ship was going in and the ship set sail. Jonah went to sleep so he didn't get seasick. But while he, the ship was sailing, the wind began to blow. The waves began to crash and the rain came hammering it down. It was a storm like no one had seen in these ear parts for years and years. Oh, in my heart is all of the crew of the ship got really nervous and scared. And they were saying to each other, who has brought this bad luck upon us? And when pirates and shipmates want to find out who has brought bad luck, they do something called drawing lots. Lots are like sticks. You, everybody pulls a stick out and whoever has the shortest stick, it's him that is the bad luck. They woke Jonah up from his nap in the cargo. They said, Jonah, you must draw lots. And when Jonah pulled out his stick, it was the shortest. He knew that it was not bad luck. 
but God trying to get his attention. Shipmates throw me overboard, and then the storm will stop, said Jonah. But the other sailors were scared to throw him overboard. Normally, they quite enjoy throwing people overboard because it's good fun. But the storm was so dangerous, they didn't want to do it. So they threw cargo overboard instead. But the storm did not stop and the ship was still going to sink. And so Jonah said, shipmates, listen, toss me overboard. And so they did. They picked him up, one, two, three, tossed him into the sea. And as soon as he hit the water, shipmates, everything calmed down. The waves settled, the wind stopped, and the rain stopped falling. And as Jonah went down, down, down underwater, instead of drowning, he was swallowed by the biggest fish you have ever seen. It was as big as a whale. It had huge eyes and an even huger mouth. It was monstrous in its proportions. And as he drew near to Jonah, he opened his mouth and Jonah got sucked in. Once he was inside the fish. I don't know if you've ever been inside the fish. Shipmates, it's very, very smelly and full of dead fish bones and other grim things that would make your toes curl. Once he was in there, he began to think and he began to talk to God. And he said, God, I am sorry for trying to run away from you because I know you are everywhere and I cannot hide from you. And I am sorry that I did not go to Nineveh like you said I should. What he did then was he sat and he talked to God and they made friends again. Jonah said, God, I will go. And so by now, he had been in the fish for three days. Three whole days he was quite smelly himself. And also he was hungry. And all of a sudden, the fish began to cough. I don't know if you've ever seen a fish cough, shipmates. It's not a pretty sight. And it's not a good sound. But the fish began to cough. And he sicked up Jonah. That is disgusting, shipmates. A fish being sick is not nice. But he sicked up Jonah on a beach. And Jonah, apart from being smelly and a little bit covered in sick, was completely unharmed. He was just hungry. He had a wash. He had something to eat. And then he went straight to Nineveh and told the people there that God loved them and that he wanted them to say sorry for all the nasty things they had done. And that's what Jonah did. And when the landlubbers in Nineveh heard Jonah, they listened. They were sad. And they said sorry to God and they turned back and followed him. That, landlubbers, is the tale of Jonah and the whale. Hey guys, and the first minute to win it today. Hope you guys are enjoying Holiday Club and you've got your packs. Um, in your packs, you should have something that looks like this. It might not be blown up yet, but it's a balloon, okay? And little minute to win it today, I'd have a bit of fun with, is I wanna see how long you can keep this balloon up in the air. You might be running around the house, you might be going outside. Okay, you might set yourself a little goal and see if you can get to 100. That is up to you. That's your little, little bit of fun today. So blow it up and have a go with that. But why am I talking about this? Well, actually in the story today, Jesus calmed the storm. And that was something that was impossible. The people who were there thought that is impossible. Well, how could he even do that? I don't understand. So, a way in which we can make this maybe impossible, and a little goal for you guys to get, is if you've got like a scarf or 
a blindfold or anything, you can make it into a little like blindfold, okay, like me here, and this is what I'm gonna do. And to put myself in the mind of Jesus and how impossible it was that what he did, I'm gonna try and do the same thing I just did then and, uh, and see how long, I've lost it already, where is it? It's over here somewhere, I don't know where it is, okay? And see how, lo how long I can keep it up, okay? There's your little goal for today, have fun doing that. And uh, see you soon. Hi, welcome to the Pirate Adventure of the Craft. Here is my whale and my whale, if you count to three. One, two, three, open! He's swallowed Jonah. Help, help, let me out. And hopefully you're going to have fun making one of these too. You should have what you need in your pack. This is the instruction sheet with a template for the fish and for Jonah. There's also some funky foam, an eye, a clothes peg, and um, what else do we need? We need glue, scissors and something to write or draw with. So we're going to start by cutting out this fish shape. Ignore this line across the middle for the moment. Just cut it out. If you need a grown up to help you, that's great. And always be careful with scissors. Um, so you're going to cut him out. And when you've cut him out, you're going to have something like this. Um, and then we are going to use this on our funky foam and we're going to cut out a piece of funky foam in the shape of a fish. I've given you a template because drawing a big fish can sometimes be tricky. Of course, if you want to make your own fish, you absolutely can. So I'm going to put my fish across here and I'm going to put it down very carefully on the table and I'm going to draw all the way around it. Okay, And then when I get to these bits on the ends of my line, I'm going to make a mark. I'll show you. There we are. So if you can see, I made a mark where the end of the line was so that I can join that up and draw a line. Now you can do a straight line if you've got a ruler. You can use the edge of your, your template paper. That's how I did mine. You can draw a line across here. Uh, if you want to make it wiggly like he's got sharp teeth, that's also great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut all of this out. When you have cut it out, you will then have your shark your shark, your whale shape, and we're gonna cut it completely into two. When you've done that, you're going to take your wiggly eye and you're gonna stick it on just like this. Now, when I did this fish, I, this fish, I got him upside down. So I've turned, literally turned mine into a shark because he's got a fin on the top or a dolphin. Uh, that's really supposed to be the bottom of your fish because a whale doesn't have a fin on the top. Well, it doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. Um, nobody's going to mind. So whatever colour you've got, whichever way around you want to do it, you do that. So you've got two pieces of your fish and he's going to open and shut like that. Or you might have the purple one. Again, just like that, like I had. And uh, later on, we're going to stick Jonah on the back. So when you've done all of that, you've got your eyes stuck on, you're going to need your clothes peg. And we're going to put the glue on this end of the clothes peg, not the squeezy end, on the opening end, um, which always seems funny to me because surely this end's open, but we're not talking about that end. We're talking about this end where it opens, where it's got that little bit of the hole. And you're going to put glue on here. So let me get my glue stick. And I'm going to I'll open it up and make sure I've got lots of glue on both sides like that. OK, so I've got lots of glue and I am going to stick. Now, this is my top piece. So he is going. Let's open him up. He's going on the top and here we are. Stuck him on the top only. Up to, can you see how it, it is right on the edge, just up to where that metal line is? Because it won't stick so well if you go further than that. And here is the bottom half of my bottom half, and it is going to get match up what's going on that side there. Okay, so when you have done that, if you press it really hard, the glue stick does work, I promise. Press it down nice and nice and hard, and you should be able to do this. Oh, my Jonah's inside my whale. So what you need to do, can you guess? Yes. You're going to colour if you want to, and if you've only got a pencil, uh, like a grey pencil, you could give him a pattern top. You can draw eyes and decorate his top, and you're going to cut him out, and you're going to put glue on him. Now, the funny thing is with this one, you put the glue on the bit you just coloured. Don't stick it on the back, because we're going to stick him on facing forwards. So, I haven't covered all of him, look. The only bit that's got glue on him is that tiny bit there. So I put a little tiny bit of glue on that bit on the front of him. And I've stuck him on and then he will open and shut. Look, I've given mine a beard and a, and grey hair and a big like, ah, 
open mouth because he's a bit scared because he's been sh stuck, sh stuck in the whale and he's shouting out to God, help me, help me, I'm stuck in the whale. And he comes along, here we go. Ah, there he is. Enjoy your craft. Have a great time doing that and we'll see you next time. And to finish thinking about Jonah today, I'm just going to say a prayer. Dear God, thank you that you are always with us. Wherever we go, you are there. Help us to remember that. Wherever we are, whatever we're doing, we can always talk to you, just like Jonah did, even when he was in the belly of a big fish. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed today's adventure. Remember, God loved Jonah and had a plan for him. God loves each and every one of you and has a plan for you. And may God bless you and keep you in whatever you're doing today and for the rest of this week. Take care. God bless.